Hi, everyone. Um, look, yesterday it was raining all day, and now today my mountain is in a cloud. It feels very mystical here. And mystical feeling is the perfect way, the perfect time, the perfect environment for manifesting. So here, let me, there we go. Um, we're going to do our final crystal ball manifestation today. And I want to talk first about really the most powerful, useful thing about having a crystal ball is it helps you to clear your head of the past and visualize the reality of what you want. Visualize the future as you wish it to be. It helps you release the old imagery and invite in the new image. One of the main reasons manifestation uh, fails for people is because they don't let go of what it is that they don't want anymore. And we've talked about that. First, you see where you're at, and then you see or feel or connect with where you want to be or what you want. And then you bring that to here and you release everything that doesn't mesh with it. All right. Um, and I should say, see where you're at, see what you want, and then look at yourself, everything within you that's not in harmony with that. Get it out and then bring it in and then connect, release what doesn't fit, connect so that you are literally living in your heart, in your mind, in your spirit, what it is that you wish to be. This, you know, we think about manifestation as very ooh, etheric, but think about it. Anyone who's ever written a business plan, anyone who's ever like done a home renovation, anyone who's ever worked on themselves in any way, this is the same formula be it in 3D or in spirit. It's the same formula, pretty much. One of the biggest problems people have is either one, they don't put any action to the manifestation. I've seen people who say, I don't get it. I have been manifesting and manifesting and nothing's happening. I'm like, well, what are you doing beyond dreaming, wishing, visualizing? They're like, well, nothing. I'm like, well, how about if you put a little action to it? Go forward on your life path with the manifestation and the guidance working in cohesion with your guides. Don't just blindly do what you think they tell you because you might be getting it wrong. You know, you may be mishearing them or making assumptions. So in cohesion and communication, go forward in synchronicity, in harmony, with where your guides are taking you, then the manifestation comes easily. And with more and more practice, it takes less and less effort. The other thing is people don't let go of the things that are blocking them from going forward with what they want. And we're all guilty of this. To bring it back to our daily lives, think about any person you've ever dated who was burned by a previous relationship. So therefore they're going to be like, I'm not going to trust you because I've been through this before or anyone, honestly, with any level of PTS, anyone who's got any blocks or walls around their heart, anyone who's learned the lessons, but they haven't then released the lesson to go forward with only the learning any kind of blocks, any kind of, oh, I want a better life, but all of my focus is on this life. You know, what I don't want. I'm just so caught up and I'm so focused in it that they're not going to get that because all of their focus and energy is on this. So you have to let go of the old so that you can embrace the new. That's in our 3D lives, it's in our etheric life, it's in any form of manifestation. That's why 
crystal balls, you see? <laughs> crystal balls are so handy because they require when you're scrying, when you're looking in the crystal ball to space out, release everything and invite the visions to come in. So we are going to do a short crystal ball exercise. And um, you can do this with a cup of water or a bowl or a crystal or a window, a mirror in a semi-dark room, you know, anything that you can stare at and space out at, even a wall, you know. So you don't need a fancy, fancy crystal ball like I have, although I love it so much. <laughs> you just need something to space out at. Um, sometimes I do uh, walking in the woods and I'm just sort of let myself become one with the woods, which is a way of releasing me. And as I'm walking, I'm visualizing myself walking towards like my life as I wish it is there calling to me. And every step I take, I'm releasing the old. You know, that's the same for people who aren't good at sitting still, but today. And, you know, feel welcome to try that when you take a walk. Just sort of allow that which no longer serves to release. You know, do the formula I said, the equation of see where you're at, think of what you want, see within you what doesn't harmonize, release it with respect and appreciation, but it's time to go. And then invite what you want here, get it to fit in well, and then walk forwards away from what no longer serves towards what will best serve. Okay, so here's my crystal ball. And I'm a very tactile person. I love touching my crystal ball. I am just going to, like you don't need to look down on it straight down just seeing the orb. And it doesn't matter if you see anything under it or any light or refraction or anything. The whole point of it is to space you out so that in a way you feel like you're going into the ball. You know, you're, you're like your consciousness and the message, the vision of the ball become one. And now I'm manifesting what I desire. I'm thinking about what it is that I want. And I will stay in this stage until thinking about what I want feels light and airy and happy and healthy, clean and good. If there's anything in me that is like full of anxiety or just that gripping that you can get. I'm just going to release, you know, I will honor it, but I'll release it. And I will stay in this stage until what I want is coming closer and closer. And my energy and the energy of my desire is just kind of mixing and blurring in the ball. And then I invite myself to just sort of be one with what I desire in my spaced out connection with the ball. And then visualizing my path going forward from this vision. And as I'm visualizing that all of the old energy is releasing and dispersing. After that, it is my responsibility to put action to vision. You have to go forward with trust and faith and hope and delight, you know, with optimism that what you're going forward to is going to happen. And again, if you are like a very um, structured person, you can even make a small like business plan, project plan of this. Don't get too detailed <laughs> because the more you dictate, the less you're getting out of this. But if having that 
structure helps you to get to this and helps you to go forward, then that's fantastic. Um, if just spacing out and going to dream time is what works for you, that's fantastic. But remember, go fully into your vision and then go forward. Okay, so we are now like halfway through, over halfway through our 33-day series. Coming up, Mariam and I are going to talk about how to manifest money, how to manifest a house, property, how to manifest a vacation, and um, how to manifest physical things in your life. We're also going to talk about what happens to the, you know, what is the energy coming in and what happens to the energy you release. Heads up, the energy you release gets to go off and do happier, more fun things. It's so happy to be released. It's not like, you know, it's just energy that's looking forward now to going and being happier than it was while working with you in this way. So uh, we'll get into all of that in the next latter half of our series. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.